Hey y'all, what's up? So I just finished my gratitude journaling for the night. By the way, welcome to the vloggity vlog because this is going to be, this is, is this, this, this is going to be a vlog. So as you can see by my hair, I had done a hot oil treatment like <laughs> three hours ago. It is now, I can't even tell the time because I don't have my glasses on, but it is 12.28 midnight and yeah i pretty much just decided to like kick back and relax for the rest of the night i am gonna hop in the shower but i'm gonna wash my hair in the morning because my hair takes way too long to dry and i don't feel like staying up to like blow dry it and twist it and all that stuff and before i know it i'm going to bed at two so yeah i'm just gonna hop in the shower refresh my soul and knock out because baby i am exhausted so yeah lego good afternoon folks oh my gosh oh let me tell you i slept Dang, I look ashy. I have to do my skincare, but I slept like a goddess. Right now, it is currently 12.31 p.m. Um, and I'm getting ready to step out. I just have like a couple errands, like my usual Wednesday errands that I have to run. And then I'm going to come home. I like to use rose water to balance out my pH. That's my preferred toner of choice but how y'all doing what's up it is wednesday january 18th so it is my day off where i just pretty much get to catch up with myself and do the things that i want to do around the house record obviously and just like honestly catch up with myself because as far as like my personal work it does take up a huge chunk of my time so i'm really just trying to focus on filming more and editing more and just tapping into what i love to do because i do really enjoy making videos for you guys for me my favorite part is when i get to edit and see all of this play back and really turn it into a storyline for y'all so i'm very 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 excited speaking of stories story time <laughs> So if I'm totally honest, I will be sharing more with you all in the sense of like just how I view certain scenarios, like daily scenarios that may take place. So if I think something is worth sharing, I will share it with you guys. So this occurred yesterday, right? And this obviously happened in my personal line of work. So baby, you know, sometimes... You just gotta watch people and just let them say what they say but you also gotta nip it in the butt if it don't sit right with you and you just know it, it don't it's ignorant right so there was a video that i came across on tiktok that i actually shared with my fellow black girls at work and it was a very 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 interesting video that i actually shared on my instagram as well because i just thought it was really important so this is a life coach and i'm going to look for the video now i originally found it over on twitter found out it was posted on tiktok and i went ahead and i found the video and i reposted it because it was it was very significant you know it's at the end of the day it's a take on the black experience and what women experience black women specifically and how we um express our anxiety and how we deal with our anxiety so if you want to check out the video for yourself it's by nikki valentine i hope you guys can see that but it's nikki valentine on tiktok and the topic is anxiety shows up as irritation in black women and she just drops a whole bunch of gems on how 
majority of the time when black women when we become overwhelmed it then turns into irritation because we're always expected to have the answers to know what to do to just be able to solve everything and so many scenarios popped up in my head of how I've seen my mother handle things when she's anxious and overwhelmed, how I've seen my sister handle things. And so a lot of the times it is translated into irritability, which then turns into frustration, which then turns into anger. But the only thing that is taken away from that moment is the fact that we are angry, when in reality we are just overwhelmed, anxious, and it shows up as irritability. So it's a very interesting video, and if you guys wanna check it out, please do because it really just highlights a lot of what your girl and many other black women black women i'm sure have experienced in their lifetime so i was showing my fellow black girls because i'm like this is a gem you know if you've ever felt this way or you weren't able to word it appropriately then here's someone who's like breaking it down for us at the end of the day so i'm showing a video and when i say my fellow black girls i mean my fellow black girls so there was one other person they were a person of color but they were not black they're both watching the video we're both taking it in like we're all taking it in. i had already watched the video so i had already received what i felt was was necessary to myself and then my other fellow black girl actually touched her so much that she got emotional about it and i was like okay you know obviously more people need to hear this more people need this and so it was it was just a really touching moment so the other person in the room who was watching it they did this thing that i personally dislike people to do <laughs> and this is where the story i was just like i was like mm, no see i'm not gonna let you get away with that as the video progresses as the points are being made you know my other fellow black girls getting emotional is really hitting her in the feels because you know she's obviously coming to a realization like whoa this is how certain things have shown up in my life or this is why i've reacted the way that i've reacted because another significant point to that video was the fact that we also tend to shut down because we feel as though we are nagging or we are being persistent or we're coming across as just like needy you know etc just all the things that have essentially been tied to almost as if we're not allowed to like express and, and request the things that we actually want you know from an individual and so on and so forth whatever scale you want to place it on but you know those are definitely related because i know i've in the past have shut down whether it be in the face of a debate or an argument or even with like family like i just tend to go inward because i'm like you know what i don't want to bother anybody so on and so forth all that stuff so my fellow black girl is feeling it the other person decides to conclude in their mind like oh oh yes i understand what she's saying but that's not just for black women that's for people in general that's for everybody and i was like the way i've stopped <laughs> and i was like <laughs> i was just like um it's not for everybody because as you can tell by the title this is how it shows up in black women and i pointed to the title because i was like you can't generalize this topic when it's coming from a black woman she's directing the topic to black women and she's showcasing her experience of what she's come across through therapy and as a coach herself and she's letting fellow black women know how anxiety shows up in them so the fact that this person decided to like undermine and generalize the topic and make it something that everybody could relate to yes i'm sure a lot of people have dealt with anxious thoughts um anxiety as a whole you know so many topics but everybody deals with it differently so the fact that this is being highlighted for black women and the topic is how anxiety shows up in black women and you decide to generalize it and make it about everybody i was like absolutely not you're not doing that not in front of me no and once i said what i said the person stood shut they had nothing else to say i was like yeah yeah because you know you put your foot in the, your foot in your mouth like if that's one thing if i am watching something that obviously doesn't pertain to me and is being highlighted on whether that be another nationality another race another culture so on and so forth i usually just sit there and i take it in yes there may be things that i can say like oh yeah we do that too or so on and so forth but as far as it as a whole if i know it does not 
fully affect me. I'm not going to make any comments about it like, oh, well, yeah, but no, no, that's not my place. It just, it honestly was one of those, one of those scenarios where it was like, can we have this? Okay, can we have this? Like, why do you feel the need to generalize it? Like, if anything, it came across more so as like, they probably felt like they themselves have had a hand in causing that same sense of anxiety in like their black peers and so it came up as denial for them because it's like oh you know you're not gonna single me out that's what took place but i'm gonna stop rambling um i'm gonna link the tiktok video down below that way if you guys are interested in watching it you know my fellow black girls please do because it's one of the things that we are there's still so much that black women and black men as well are discovering as a whole when it comes to mental health when it comes to just your personal well-being you know everybody talks therapy but realistically like therapy is a difficult topic in the black community because we we are so used to just like shoving everything under the rug even now it's 2023 and i'll tell you right now like we'll think about it like we'll think oh i should you know go to therapy or i should seek help but somehow we just kind of brainwash ourselves into thinking like no nah, i'm gonna figure it out i got it you know i'll be fine or like today's a better day so that means i'm good versus actually wanting to do the work so for the ones that are doing the work i applaud you i'm gonna be right there with you because i do want to seek therapy because yeah ain't no way ain't no way we just trying to heal grow become better individuals on a daily and if that's one thing like the day of tomorrow that i do decide to have my children and get married and all that good stuff i don't want to be in that that space of my life where i can't enjoy it as much because i'm still over here dwelling on the past so that's an absolute no-no for me but yeah that's my little story time that's my little spiel i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready for the day because i really do have to get going it's about to be one o'clock yeah, it's 15 minutes to 1, so I'm going to go ahead and head out, and I'm going to catch up with y'all later. everything's done for you so you don't even need any tech skills you just sit back and watch the income cover your bills month after month Bye. hey guys so obviously i'm back home and i went ahead and finally washed my hair i just got done with my gratitude journaling for the night because lord knows that i needed to like brain dump and just be thankful for the good steps that i took in today and just enjoying my wednesday overall it's 8 56 and i've just been chilling and i watched munchie's vlog she along with sunday love zoe um, and there's a couple others. I'm going to create a list. Ooh, Raina Tova. I'm going to create a list of just kind of all of my favorite calm YouTubers to watch. Like, I really enjoy watching vlogs that feel like daily vlogs, but come across as, like, a movie, if it makes sense. And so Munchie's really, really good at that. Like, the way she films her shots and the way she just presents her storyline is really, really dope. Zoe, I absolutely love she's one of the newer youtubers i've come across sunday love of course top tier she has my heart so i'm gonna create a list in the description box that way if you guys have not come across any of their channels please go ahead and check it out you will not be disappointed as far as for me for the rest of the night i don't have much planned um i'm probably gonna make i'll probably make myself a cup of tea with a snack 
and potentially do some light reading whenever i want something quick to read before bed i usually pick this one up which is self-care for black women by oludara adio and funny enough i just got to the soul portion of the book because it's really just a book that i pick up to you know gain some gentle reminders from and then as far as a book that i'm actually reading it's dawn by octavia butler because i am very much a sucker for science fiction and she is currently one of my favorite science fiction authors so yeah i'm also waiting for the third installment of tomi adeyemi's children of blood and bone book to be released i believe it's going to be released somewhere of this year so yeah in the meantime if you guys have any recommendations as far as books to check out please let me know i've been hearing a lot about this one book called nightcrawler so i think i want to read that when i'm done with this but i know that this is also if i'm not mistaken a trilogy or just a series as a whole i like it so far like i've actually been reading it not as consistent consistently as i would like but i have been reading it so it's a great book to read while i'm on my way to do what i need to do and so yeah if you have any recommendations science fiction or fantasy and some romance because i really you know i'm a lover so i really want something good to read that's gonna like make me fall in love with the characters and their love story then please feel free to leave those in the comments down below but yeah, let's see what your girl gets into for the rest of the night.